From an airport built on its own artificial island to islands shaped like the world map, nowadays, artificial islands are far more common and feature advanced engineering techniques that allow them to serve multiple purposes. Many of them have been built for commercial uses or luxury housing. Artificial islands may vary in size from small islets reclaimed solely to support a single pillar of a building or structure to those that support entire communities and cities. In modern times, artificial islands are usually formed by land reclamation, but some are formed by flooding of valleys resulting in the tops of former knolls getting isolated by water. There are several reasons for the construction of these islands, which include residential, industrial, commercial, structural, or strategic purposes. Here are seven artificial islands that are a testament to modern engineering. Number seven, Hong Kong International Airport. The Hong Kong International Airport is one of the busiest cargo gateways and one of the busiest passenger airports in the world. Construction on the airport started in 1995 and finished in 1998. The airport was built on an artificial island created from two existing natural islands, Chek Lap Kok and Lam Chau. These islands were flattened and conjoined via land reclamation. To do this, engineers reclaimed about 9 square kilometers of seabed at an approximate cost of $9 billion. Overall, the airport cost is estimated to be $18 billion. Number 6. Kansai International Airport Located in Japan, the Kansai International Airport is built on two artificial islands in the middle of Osaka Bay. Construction started in 1987 with the objective of relieving pressure on Osaka International Airport which could not be expanded as it was surrounded by buildings in the Itami and Toyonaka suburbs. The airport was built on a long and light structure to help it resist the earthquakes and typhoons that often occur in that area. In 1989, a seawall was completed to protect it from erosion, strong winds, storm surges, and high waves. Made of rock and 48,000 tetrahedral concrete blocks, the seawall is secured to steel chambers weighing hundreds of tons. This helped the airport survive the 1995 Kobe earthquake, and a few typhoons before Typhoon, Jebi surpassed its barriers and flooded Terminal 1 in 2018. Number 5. Amwaj Islands Located in Bahrain, the Amwaj Islands are an artificial archipelago whose 2,798 million square meters of land was reclaimed from the shallow seas to the northeast of Muharak Island. A broad crested breakwater reef was added around the islands to protect them from storms and erosion. The breakwater reef, consisting of 11 breakwaters located 246 feet apart from each other, reduces the height of the waves by up to 60%. Infrastructure development included all basic utilities, roads, vacuum sewerage, optical fiber networks, and nine bridges communicating the islands in the archipelago. This part of the project finished in 2005. Connected to Bahrain's mainland through a causeway, the Amwaj Islands received its first residence in 2006. Number 4. The Pearl Island The Pearl is an artificial island near the West Bay District in Doha, Qatar. Although it looks like two pearls from above, its name refers to the fact that it was built on a pearl diving site. Construction started in 2004 with an original cost of $2.5 billion, which later increased to $15 billion. Infrastructure works were completed in 2014, five years after the first residents of the island moved in. The island, built via reclamation of 4 million square meters of land, is divided into 12 districts that aim to accommodate more than 40,000 people. Apart from the residential villas, apartments and townhouses, the island features restaurants and other entertainment facilities. Number 3. Ocean Flower Island The Ocean Flower Island has been dubbed the Dubai of China. It is located off the north coast of Danzhou, Hainan, China, an area with tropical weather. This flower-shaped artificial island is 1.5 times larger than Dubai's Palm Jumeirah, and according to some sources, it is the world's largest artificial tourism island. It consists of three independent islets linked by causeways. Completed in 2020, 
Ocean Flower Island was built over 12 years using land reclamation. Since its opening, it has become a major tourism destination, with multiple hotels and resorts and many kinds of entertainment establishments. Number 2. The World Islands The World is another ambitious project by Nakheel Properties. It consists of a collection of man-made islands situated off the coast of Dubai, which resemble a world map when viewed from above. To do this, Dutch dredging companies Royal Van Oord and Boscalis built about 300 islands in the rough shape of the countries of the world. Construction started in 2003 using sand dredged from Dubai's coastal waters. By 2008, about 60% of the islands had been sold to private contractors. The idea was to create luxury properties in each one of them. However, due to the 2007 and 2008 financial crisis, progress on the project slowed and many islands remain undeveloped even today. The Kleindienst Group, the world's current developer, aims for completion in 2026. Number 1. Palm Jumeirah Palm Jumeirah is an artificial archipelago in Dubai. Construction started in 2001 and was largely completed by 2006. Palm Jumeirah is mostly known for the fact that it is in the shape of a palm tree, a design that is meant to maximize the beachfront area. Most residences, hotels, and resorts built on Palm Jumeirah offer views of the Persian Gulf and Dubai's skyline. Palm Jumeirah was built by state-owned real estate developer Nakheel Properties and Dutch specialist dredging company Royal Van Oord via land reclamation. This technique involves dredging existing bodies of water and filling in with the dredged materials or bringing in materials like sand, gravel, soil, or cement. The trunk of the palm serves as the main access point and is connected to the mainland by a bridge. The fronds are residential areas with a mix of villas, apartments, and townhouses. The crescent is a large, curving breakwater structure that surrounds the outer edges of the archipelago to protect it against the impact of the sea waves, strong currents, and erosion. Palm Jumeirah is one of the three planned Palm Islands, the other two being Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Dira, whose development has been put on hold due to the financial crisis of 2007 and 2008. However, in 2023, the ruler of Dubai announced that construction on these islands will start again. And that's it. Let us know in the comments below which one of these islands is your favorite, and if you visited one of them. Thanks for watching.